Hey, it's Pasty's Prime here and welcome to another quick update video. So I thought it was time just to do another one. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And I like to do them every now and then just to give you a bit of, well, an update. What's going on, what's in my head, all that sort of stuff. What's happening with the channel, everything else. So things are going pretty well at the channel at the moment, as far as I'm concerned, you know. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what's happening with it. It's just steadily continuing on. I'm enjoying playing the games on there and uh, having people, you know, checking them out and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, there's a lot to still do and grow on the channel, but it is, you know, a part-time sort of passion of mine. Um, you know, I have a full-time job that I need to work because I don't make money from the channel so or uh, not anywhere near enough if i do make any money it's uh, barely anything so that's just the way it is but it's more about having fun anyway but of course um i think i might have said it in another or, or about to say it in another video i may have recorded it before this but it won't be up before this um that obviously i'm like probably everybody else out there that's doing this i would love to be able to call this my job right the reality is i don't personally think i'm ever going to get there i think i'll be well and truly probably an age of retirement before i could even get close to that but you just never know you know things just happen on youtube and wherever else and you don't know so obviously i would love to do that that's not the reason i technically started the channel but if the options there well great because it just means that the reason I started the channel, which was to enjoy playing games, sharing it with people and talking to people online and all that sort of stuff, would be even more enhanced by doing this full time as opposed to just uh, part time, you know, in my spare time and then doing a day job and everything else I do. But if that is ever to be an option, well, you need a way to make money. And that is what I've done. And this is what I want to talk about first with this. We'll talk about some games as well. But um, so up until now, I've kept talking about uh, a Patreon site, which is always in the descriptions. That is still there. And I'll keep that going because what I want to do is give people as many options as possible. And, and it's not, I'm not doing it to try and force people to to pay right it's not about that it's just about providing options so that if you are somebody that wants to uh put in some money to the channel show your appreciation that sort of thing to help fund it um and grow it and all that sort of stuff then what i want to do is give you options so that you can pick what you would prefer to do now obviously if you want to just continue to watch my content and all that stuff for free and never pay money you're absolutely entitled to do that and i show no i don't know what the word is no disrespect nothing like that right you are as welcome as anybody else to the channel uh no matter what all right so don't feel obligated don't feel that i'm giving all these options to try and ram it down your throat because that is not what i'm doing that is just it's just about giving you the options so that if you want to do it, you can pick the one that you like. So YouTube give a few. Um, originally I started with Patreon because YouTube weren't giving me the options to do that, you know, until you become uh, in the YouTube partner program, you don't get any options to make money at all or even attempt to. So, you know, going off site's the only way. So that's the reason for the Patreon site there. You'll find in there that there is three membership levels. I think the first one, and I've tried to keep them fairly cheap. Obviously, give me feedback on these, right, guys? Because guys, girls, whatever you want to be called. Um, just everybody watching this, give me feedback. Because if they are something that you are tempted by, but you just don't like what I'm offering, let me know, right? If there's no perks in there that you want, or you want something different, or the value's not there, the price is not what you want, let me know because these are just a trial i'm not an expert i don't know what to do and i'm just guessing i'm just throwing things out there so i think there's three levels with the patreon membership you know obviously they get more expensive as you go up 
First one is just a, you don't want anything return type thing. You just want to give your support to the cheapest one. Second one, you give a little bit extra money. You get your name in the credits at the end of every video for the month. Um, or, you know, every month that you are continuing to be in the membership. And then the third one is um, you get all those benefits. You get that benefit. Plus, if the game supports in-name character changing, then I will uh, look at doing that. And depending on how many members are, you know, it'll be shared between the members fairly. I'll go balanced and because I can't give, you know, if, if I had a ton of members, then I can't give everybody a name in every game. It's just impossible. But you would get your name in the games every now and then. So that's the options I've gone with with Patreon at the moment. But as I said, give me feedback if you want something different. Now, the other one, is just recently I have decided to add the YouTube membership because they made that available. Now, at the moment, I've set it up very similar to the Patreon one just to keep them the same. Um, so I think I've got three or maybe even four levels on that one just, just as a, an experiment. Um, but YouTube does it a little bit differently, right? So uh, the cheapest one, I think basically you just get uh, some... Uh, you get a badge for your name when you comment and all that sort of stuff. And there's some emotes that I have access to give you and that sort of stuff. I've some thrown some ones in there that I found. Again, I'm not an expert at it, so I've just done a, well, the best I could. Uh, hopefully you're happy with them. That's pretty much all you get for that one. Then there's the second one. And again, you'll get what you get from the first membership but you also get your name in the credits at the end of the videos for the month and then the third one is the same as the other one you get your name in the credits you also get in-game character names shared out again you know fairly between all the members and then i think i added a ridiculous one in there and this is for somebody that just <laughs> doesn't care about money and wants to throw money at me so be it and it's out of value that actually what I would like to do, um, if I had enough people in it, and again, give me feedback, because if I get enough members in these things, we can change things and do different perks. But the last one was you get all of those perks, but on top of that, because you're giving a decent value of money that could basically buy a game, I will be asking for suggestions of those people of games they would like to see on the channel that I don't currently play. We would then do a poll of those games and the winning poll, I would basically use the money that people have been paying for the membership to buy the game and play it at least once on the channel. Right, so I'm saying at least once on the channel because I may hate the game, so I don't want to commit to anything other than at least buying it and playing it once. Again, give me feedback, right? But this, I'm not necessarily expecting anybody to join that one. It is a bit of a, a dear one. So, but if you want to see that and you want to actually get me to play games deliberately, right? Well, there it is. I'm throwing that option out. Okay, and then the other option that YouTube gives me because I don't live stream, you know, if I was live streaming, there's other options, but because I don't live stream, the other option is, is that there is what they call uh, super thanks. I think that's what they call it. Anyway, on the bottom, somewhere down there on every video, there'll be a thank you button with a little money symbol. You can click on that and you can write a message and give a one-off single donation of the value you choose. I think you nominate what you want to pay and it's a one-off. It's not a membership. You're not joined every month. You're just saying, basically, you're just saying, hey, this video was good. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Here's some money. So that's another option, right? So if you just want to use that method, you can as well. As I said, these are all optional. You're quite welcome to enjoy all the content for free. On top of all that, there's the usual ones, like the videos, dislike the videos, subscribe to the channel, you know, obviously the more subscribers, the more likes, all that sort of stuff, and comment, right? Because I want to talk to my supporters, fans, people who watch my content, want to talk to them, you can make game suggestions in the comments, you can ask me questions, 
You can tell me what I'm doing wrong in the games. You can give me tips. You can do all that sort of stuff. Happy to chat. And as I said, you can make game suggestions and I will check. I check all the games out that people tell me. Don't always play them all, but I check them out. Um, all that sort of stuff. Even if you just want a general chit chat, you can do it. I know it's not the most ideal situation in YouTube comments, but it's the best I have at the moment because I can't personally just can't live stream. I'm just not mentally designed for it. Plus my family situation does not support it. It's just not viable at the moment. Um, maybe if this became a full-time thing, maybe I could look at it more because I could actually lock in a schedule. It would be like my job at the moment because this is done after hours, private time. I have family around, all that sort of stuff. I can't really commit to streaming and that sort of thing. I don't even know if I could mentally do it. I'm not a very social person, so it might be a bit difficult, but it could be an option if it ever came full time. But, you know, like I said, I'm not counting on that. So that's the way it is. So they're the options at the moment in that regard. And that's the reasoning behind it. So I hope that everybody understands that I'm not trying to force people to pay me money and all that sort of stuff. I'm just trying to give options and unfortunately, I have to tell people about these and I have to say them in the videos because it's just the way you, you know, you have to do it. No one's going to sign up if you don't promote it and you don't say it to people. I don't like doing it, but you just have to. Okay, so just to give you a little bit of insight into a little bit of personal information, not going to share too much, but at the moment right now, I am actually looking at uh, building a new house that I'm going to move to. I'm sort of downsizing to a smaller block, not necessarily a smaller house, but a smaller block. Uh, where I am at the moment, I sort of live in a semi-rural suburban area. And I have like a six acre block, part of its forest. Uh, I have natural wildlife on it. So, you know, we've got a bunch of kangaroos that sort of come and go at the forest out on the property, which I guess for you people in the US, you probably think that every Australian has that, but it's actually not very common. Most people don't have kangaroos in their backyard. I'm one of the rare ones that actually do. And, um, you know, I've got kookaburras. I don't have koalas, never seen those. I've got eagles that fly around from the forest, all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, occasionally the lovely, nice things you see, uh, snakes, uh, all of those, I'm saying nice, uh, as in sarcastically, uh, hate them. But anyway, they're around as well. Yes, but uh, the, the reason is, is that even though I, it's lovely and everything else, uh, the maintenance of it is getting a bit too much for me. I'm getting a little bit older now and uh, I've sort of lost interest in it. You know, uh, it's time consuming, takes me away from the things I'm enjoying, like playing games and all that sort of stuff. So I'm actually looking at moving to more suburban area where I don't have that. It's going to be a smaller block, less maintenance, all that sort of stuff. Plus, um, the block is not where I live now. It's not really suitable for uh, the rest of my family with the situation that I have to be able to support and live in the house long term if something was to ever happen to me. So I'm trying to set this up for the future where I get to a more practical place that, um, you know, if I was no longer around, my family could probably survive and look after the place and live there for the rest of their life. That's a thought. Right, it sounds a bit depressing, but that's the reality of life. You've got to plan for these things. Now, I'm just sharing this just so you understand, because I just like, you know, you might want to get to know me a little bit better, that sort of stuff. But also, uh, you know, somewhere in the building process, you know, when I go to move, there might be a little bit of downtime that I might either be off air or cut back videos. I might have to pre-record some videos to um, just have a few scattered uploaded uh while i'm in the process of actually moving because i'm going to try and get my system back up and running as soon as possible but if you've ever moved ha moved house you know that uh it's pretty hard to get it all working within the same day that you move so 
There might be a little bit of downtime, but I'm hoping to keep it at a minimum, but I'll actually keep you updated of when that's going to happen. Very early stages at the moment, so it's going to be anywhere in the next 12 months, you know. Uh, it's not going to be in the next two months, it's going to be more further down the track. But I'll keep you up to date on that anyway. So that's pretty much it from a personal thing, but if you want to know any other things, feel free to ask me. I might necessarily tell you everything but uh you know uh, you know you can always ask if you want to know and i will try and attempt to or if you want to share something about yourself i'm happy to talk about you as well okay so in regards to games we've got the usuals going on we've got surviving mars we've uh, obviously finished all of the challenges so the mysteries, they're not harder to do than the challenges. I mean, they're probably technically easier to do than the challenges so far. I mean, I'm sure there's some harder ones, but they're a little bit more complicated in setting up and, you know, you've got to go through that sort of thing. But um, hopefully the way I'm doing it is okay, but let me know if they're not. Um, but I just want to get through those mysteries. Where we go from there, I don't know. Um, I'd be looking at ideas from you about surviving Mars because I'm not sure if there are any other things to do other than to do standard plays and I'm not 100% sure I really want to I don't know we've been playing for a while now so it might be time to uh, retire the game for a little while or forever who knows it happens we've done it before with other games we might have to do it again um the other one surviving the aftermath um still going with that one so we've gone back to our villain uh whatever scenario campaign whatever you want to call it we're gonna fly through not fly through we're gonna try and get through that one see what happens because it's an interesting one we're sort of actually trying to go against the system and what the system wants you to do so it's very interesting um that one i'm definitely going to be looking for ideas so again if i can't get any ideas of what to do we might have to take it off the channel so there's a few games coming up that could end up coming off the channel um uh, Stranded Alien Dawn. Yeah, that's a game I enjoy as well, but I have found some moments where I do get a little bit bored. Um, there's a little bit of downtime. You know, you can set it up and the game almost plays itself. Uh, if you've got enough colonists and they're all happy and they're all doing their things, you can just sit there watching it. And it just does it. And I don't personally like games where I just sit there and watch them. Um, not for long periods. I don't mind cutscenes, but not the actual whole game. So, not sure what to do there. We are going to try a farming one, uh, just to go through that with no uh, no animal attacks, that sort of thing. Just to have a bit of a break from animal attacks and just, you know, try setting up a sort of farm situation and see what we can do there. Try out the new gadgets and things like that that they brought into the game just recently. And we'll have to see if they add any more content where well, we can keep going. If they don't, we might have to have a break from it and wait for it to come back. Uh, so the other long-term games we've got on the channel at the moment, we've got Stellaris, that's still kicking goals, you know. Um, I'm still happy to keep playing that. We've got, you know, because I've barely scratched the surface of the content in that. But again, always looking for ideas. So if you want to see something particular, or want me to do something in the game, throw them out there. I'll, you know, I keep a list of things to do in various games and that sort of stuff so if you have something you'd like me to try let me know and i might see if it works for me and i'll chuck it in there anno 1800 there's a few things i want to still do in my current play but uh we are starting to run out of steam in this current one um i just want to experience as much as i can in this first one because some of these games i can't always guarantee that i'm going to want to come back so I try to do as much as I can in the one play that I'm doing, especially now that I've got quite a lot of money and I'm quite advanced. Uh, it does suit doing a few things. So there's a few ideas in there that I want to do. Like I've, I've still got to finish off a couple of things and I thought doing a bit of warfare would be good to, to, to throw out there now that we've got a lot of money. Um, what I do plan to do or possibly plan to do, one is... Um, there's a guy in there, I can't remember his name now, Mercer I think it is, 
We could start a little playthrough with him, do his story, but we probably won't go for two. We'll just go for as long as we need to with that one. Be interesting to start Anno again from, from scratch. To add down to that bare basics. I get a bit sick of those very expensive high-end recipes, we'll call them. Uh, the other one is, is they've got a few scenarios or something like that, separate sort of like little games. I want to do all of those as well. So that's where we're going with Anno, but obviously if you've got any ideas again, throw them at me and I will think about doing it. Otherwise, once we run out of those, that's another game that might come off the channel because they're not adding anything new to that game. Uh, Everspace 2, I am still enjoying that game. I'm trying to 100% everything. We're going to go through, we're going to finish the story and we'll see what happens after that. I'm not sure if anything extra unlocks that's going to be that we can do or if they're going to add new content. But because uh, it's a very story-based game, there's a good chance that that will come off the channel after I've finished the story, but we'll see how we go. Like I said, there might be something that gets unlocked after the end, or they might add more uh, story content as things come out, but we'll just have to see how we go, but I'm enjoying that game still. Homeseek, that's a new one. Actually really enjoying that right now. I'm not sure about the longevity of the game because it is very story-based as well. But again, it's just too early days to tell. So that one there, I'm just running through all of the, the, the chapters and parts in chapter mode. Then what we'll do is uh, see what it's like doing it in survival mode. And then there's the endless modes. And um, we'll give them a crack as well if we're still enjoying the game by that stage. Um... Obviously, recently, uh, if you've been watching the channel, I've started playing Baldur's Gate 3, and surprisingly, to me, um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, as I keep saying in the videos, it's, it's a new sort of genre to me. Uh, I haven't really played them before. Didn't do D&D or any of that sort of stuff as a kid or, or, you know, even a younger adult. Didn't get involved in that side of things. So this is very new to me, so I'm hoping that I can do the game justice. I'm, I'm trying my best to learn it. And um, yeah, that's very early days. So we've got a lot to go in that game. And uh, as much as I'm trying to keep the videos current on the channel so that you can comment, uh, I may be breaking that a little bit soon because um, I really can't control myself and I want to do a little bit of binge playing because I'm falling behind. Um, the problem I also have at the moment is, is I like to watch other people's content sometimes to see how they play the game and pick up things from them um, to improve my playing ability in the games. And I'm very hin uh, sort of, I'm stuck at the moment because every time I go to watch somebody, I have to stop because I don't, what happens is I usually go back and watch people's content of stuff parts of the game that I have already played because I don't want to see the story. Um, I like to experience the story myself direct in the game. So what happens is I go and watch somebody else's content between me playing and I see what I've already done and pick up new things and that sort of stuff, see how I can improve. And then they'll get to a point in the game where it shows a bit of, it starts to play a story that I haven't got to so then I have to stop watching them. <laughs> and it's sort of like, ah, oh, God, now I want to go and play the game again so that I can get ahead so then I can watch their content as well. So it's one of those things. So then it, it sort of pushes me, it keeps me wanting to binge play, which then means that I pre-record a lot of videos. And then when you comment, uh, I can't respond or react to your comments to several videos down the track because I've pre-recorded so many of them unfortunately you know that's just the way it is if if like I said other guys have uh, other people have advantage that they live stream so they're getting people's feedback direct I'm not getting that so that is a little bit of a trick but you know I'm okay with it as long as you're okay with it just be aware that um if you do leave comments and advice and stuff I'm I definitely I guarantee you I 100% read every one of them and if it requires an answer I will answer and I'll let you know that I've read it and all that sort of stuff but just be aware that you may not actually see me do what you're suggesting or fix what I'm doing wrong for two videos one video 
several videos depending on if i've batched um or binged whatever you want to call it so just be aware of that right i'm not being rude and ignoring your comment or anything like that i am actually taking it on board but it just might be that i've pre-recorded a few episodes and that means i've made that mistake in all of those videos and i can't fix it until i record the next one so i'm okay with that as long as you're okay with you know and just i just want you to be okay with that as well and know that i am definitely taking your feedback on board and trying to use your advice to fix things or whatever you are telling me that i'm doing wrong or whatever else so that's pretty much it um if you do have other games that you would like to see on the channel do let me know I can't always fit them in. They're not always my style, but I'm always looking for things. And they don't have to be the genres that I have in here. As I've proven with Baldur's Gate 3, I had seen the hype about it. I didn't think it was a game for me originally. Somebody did suggest it to me in the comments or in the Patreon site. I can't remember where I saw it first. But anyway, it was suggested to me. I still wasn't confident, but I took a gamble took their advice and gambled and I bought the game played it a couple of times and so far I'm really loving it um, I'm not against playing first person shooters I'm not against playing pretty much any game throw it at me and I will play them um, the only problem I have with first person shooters I do play them I play them without recording on the channel I play them on a handheld console I play them separately is that sometimes I can't talk and concentrate and place first person shooters because they're just too, uh, they're too active. I, you know, I, I struggled with that when I was playing uh, the Rift Breaker because I had to have all of my focus and attention on the gameplay that I couldn't talk or respond in the game. And as long as you're aware of that, if you still want to see those sort of things, I will try it. Sometimes my skills, being my age, is not as great. So first-person shooters can be a little bit of a struggle. So I don't usually set them to a very high difficulty. A lot of the time I may even play them on easy mode just because I like to have fun with games. I like a little bit of a challenge, but not too much. Okay, I don't like to get frustrated to the point that I keep repeating the same section over and over again because I can't get past it. Um... If that happens to me, then I'll either hate the game and give up or I will drop the difficulty level, you know. So as long as you're aware of that, that, you know, if you, you suggest a first person shooter and something like that, and I agree to play it, I might decide to play it on easy. But, you know, again, if you're okay with that, throw the suggestions at me because I am looking for variety on the channel, right? I don't just want to play surviving games all the time i like survival games but i like all different types of games so i'd like to have a good variety of games on the channel so if you think there's a different style that i haven't got on the channel throw it at me and we'll see if we can fit it in all right that's probably enough for this video i think the update's gone a little bit longer than i actually anticipated sorry about that i think i waffled on a little bit too much um but hopefully you know maybe you stuck through to the end we'll see and if you did i thank you for doing that um a lot of people don't always stick to the end of these videos but as always you know like i've said there's all those options down below for youtube memberships and all that sort of stuff if you want to do that um subscribe to the channel and um yeah read the uh put something in the comments let me know your thoughts and opinions on the update throw all these ideas at me that i've said um, that I've asked for anything you like you know um, I'd, uh, I, I appreciate everybody helping me mold the channel because I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> you know I'm just here to play games and enjoy myself but I can still enjoy myself with your feedback and your help to direct the channel of what you want to see so and if I don't like your suggestion I'm not going to criticize you I'm not going to do anything like that but I'm just not gonna do that if it's not a game i want to play i'm not gonna play it you know that's just the reality of it you know there was a while ago there was somebody that was really trying to push me to play uh 
What did they try to... I think they tried to push me to play Minecraft and they wanted to push me to going back to playing... Um, God, I can't even remember the name of the game. The dinosaur game that was mobile-based. Um, I can't even remember now. Anyway, Jurassic Park type thing. Jurassic World. One of those. Um, but I had finished playing that and I didn't want to go back to it, so I didn't. And Minecraft, I had no interest in playing Minecraft. So, you know, I just didn't play it. But, you know, I'm not going to be rude about it or anything like that. I appreciate the the suggestions and everything else. And like I said, I'll always look at them. But I don't always guarantee that I'm going to play the games. But I will definitely check them out. And if I think it's something I like, then I'll play it. You know, a lot of the games on the channel have been from people suggesting them. So, you know, the, the, the possibility's there. So throw it at me in the comments. I read all the comments, as I always say. And I answer every comment as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking out to the end and listening to me waffle on. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.